So I went on a summer vacation from my daily job and um, from YouTube because I thought maybe you guys need some time to push my subscriber count to a new digit, the first digit, to change that first digit. Subscribe below if you want. And then I found out that you guys obviously need me to create some content. New content every day. No pressure, I know. I'm thinking. So I thought we'd talk about surfaces for a second. How certain surfaces support projections. And this is going to be a multi part tutorial because I think it's uh, it's uh, we have to talk about certain things like paint and cloth and everything so let's dive right into it. Well you can see here that the angle of the light behind me is pretty crucial so if the light hits the surface properly wow rainy Germany. If the light hits the surface properly it starts to shine really white like here and if it hits it from the wrong angle it jumps off and leaves the impression of black. To talk about projection surfaces is to talk about the microstructure of surfaces. Is there a glossy structure or is it matte because it's fresnel Well let's talk about that inside. To understand surfaces, it's important to understand how light is being reflected. So if this, oh no, a train is passing by, is our surface and is absolutely flat, light will be reflected at the same angle that it comes in. So that is the same angle as this one and light goes out like that. If the surface is a little uneven, then those light rays that hit the surface get reflected in different directions. This is called a diffuse reflection, while this obviously is a direct reflection. If your audience is sitting here and this is your screen and you're projecting from this side onto a glossy surface the light rays get reflected at the same angle, of course, but people who sit here will see those light rays a little better. And if the light goes that way, light gets reflected this way, so those people see less. Okay, let's have a look. The projector is here. I'm projecting onto the matte material on this side and the glossy material on this side. As you can see, the glossy material seems to be a little more brilliant, but it really depends on the angle you're looking at it. Because if I move, you see how the reflections start to destroy your image, while on the matte material, the even distribution of the light serves as a perfect ground for your projection, no matter where you're seated. You can see on every seat in the audience you will see a different reflection on the glossy material. Also the wrinkles are horrible while this wrinkly stuff still looks even. Okay. Which makes projecting on a glossy surface a little stupid because most people won't see anything. Let's have a look at a surface that appears matte because it has all those very little bumps in there. If we cut through the material and then look at it through a microscope. So every light ray that comes in gets reflected to another direction. And people who sit in front of a screen that is matte will see an evenly distributed kind of light. If on a Fresnel surface like this, and we're talking about micrometers here, the reflection is not enough and the pigment is too black, well, too dark to see a lit pigment 
um, maybe you want to add some reflection but not too much reflection. If you just give it a coating with a lac, we're talking about this kind of being one millimeter, then there would be a direct reflection of this lac. But if the lac is not reflectant and underneath there are little pieces of metal, just a layer of a metal dust on your surface, light rays will get reflected in different directions. And thus the surface will look reflectant but it doesn't reflect into a distinct direction. Just think about coating your surface when it's not reflective enough. But uh, that will be in part two of this tutorial. That was the worst pun ever. But well, if you want to subscribe to this channel, and I'll be seeing you next time.